Hello Thinksters, this is Priyatam here. Welcome to another video on Python Pandas functions. In this video, I'll walk you through apply function in Pandas. Yeah, uh, what you are seeing here, the apply function in Pandas, I'll walk you through. And uh, apply is uh, basically a convenience method built to apply functions on Pandas objects, the series and data frame. So if we just uh, first of all go through a Google search, you know, of the pandas apply function right uh, then what it results upon is actually you can see here that apply is both a data frame method as well as a series method also right so we will uh, walk through both of them today in this tutorial right so let's get back to our notebook and yeah let's create a data frame at first so that we can walk through all of all of the concepts relating to the apply function and uh, for that purpose let's import the pandas first of all as using its standard alias and construct a data frame the data frame you have see, you're seeing here is actually having information about four people available to us right so like uh, the four people which we have are edward natalie chris and priyata right so all of their information is available to us like regarding regarding their gender their age and their wage and, and their sorry and their uh, weights in kilograms right so first of all if we go through uh, you know we as we said this is both a data frame and a series method we want to get through apply as a series method at first right so uh, in the series method in the series method, if we see, if we, let's open the documentation of the series method, right? Uh, and uh, the series method, if you look after, its uh, main, you know, parameters, its main arguments are actually a function. Yeah, a function. And uh, in that function, there are two types of functions it can take, you know, as it mentions in the uh, documentation that it's a python function or else a numpy's universal function ufunc both of them can be used inside the apply function which will take it as an argument right so because we are uh, we are selling that apply function is actually you know used to apply functions on the pandas objects right here it's a uh, applying function on functions on series yeah series uh, pandas object here right so in that there are two possibilities that you can apply a python function as well as a numpy universal function right so uh, that's being said if we just go to our notebook yeah uh, i'm saying here that pandas apply function to one column right so the first if we apply to one column of the data frame the one column in the data frame actually is a series right because uh, every column in the data frame is uh, a series with series of uh, you know data, data structure if you can see that here you know i have uh, uh, i can demonstrate that to you over here that you know name is a column in the data frame and uh, if you let's just look after the type of the name in this right you can see that you know it's a series right so that is why i'm saying apply as a series method then we are applying it on one column of the data frame right so and as i said that they, it can take both types of functions a python function as well as a numpy universal function right so let's first look after python functions as an argument and then we will go to the universal functions later and uh, in python functions if you see uh, there are basically in python itself there are three types of you know functions it, it will be it will use right uh, it are defined that are defined so there are built-in functions which are which comes from the built-ins module of the python and there is a user defined functions and uh, there is there are there are lambda functions also right so we can we can apply any of these three things and you can get the result of the apply by apply, uh, apply, applying that uh, function on top of the series right so for this uh, you know you know tutorial purpose let us say in the built-in functions let's take the len len function actually takes the uh, you can if you see if you can see this documentation also if you want it can take a, 
return it can take an object and return the number of items in that in the container right here the container or here is actually a series in this demand in this you know uh, example right so uh, that C is a python and uh, as we you know run it we get the result that it's a six right that means it has in here it has a six length it's a, it is a six, six length character uh, string right so the same thing we want to apply on our name column means applying on each and every name of each of the persons so that we get the we get the lengths of their names right that's what you know this uh, specific you know use case deals with right so you can see here it results in a series again it takes in a series and uh, applies the length function one by one on each and every uh, name and again compiles all of them together to form a series and returns it right that's the you know application of the uh, applying the apply applying on top of the series right so uh, you can you can you can you can see that here right so that's what so if we if you want to what you call uh, I have constructed an animation for this purpose that uh, how it might how it will function whatever I have seen in the code you can see that built-in functions you know applying on series there is a data frame which we have which we have seen there and applying len on top of the name series right and each and every name goes through the length function and gives results of the length of that specific string you can see that right so that's how you know this uh, uh, length function so this built-in functions on top of series uh, can be visualized here we can which makes it easy for you to understand here right so and uh, let's get back to our notebook <coughs> yeah one second yeah right so that's what i have uh, that being said uh, now let's apply the user defined functions on series right so uh, uh, user defined functions let us take a small simple use case here that you know we have the age column in our data frame which which again is a series right a single column that's what we are going to use in the apply as a series method right here right so uh, in that age column let us just add one means uh, if you think of its uh, scenario we we got the data of the people and uh, it's an year old so we want to update their ages in the data set we have right so for that purpose we can do this application we can, we can do this operation that you know we can add age of each and every person by one so that uh, their a data of age is get getting updated here right so let's uh, have this function with us here which is an age adding add add age function and uh, you know uh, when we are applying the add age here right in the same way as the len right uh, what we are getting resulted here is 46 36 right uh, which means uh, you can see that uh, instead of going to the above for the data frame let's just look here itself right yeah age right uh, the uh, the real ages of the people are 45 35 you know 29 and you can see after applying the add age function they have each and every element have been added by one right so that's how you know we can observe here right you can no notice how we can notice how here we don't have any braces of the function basically in a uh, in a general scenario when we are applying some function in in python what actually happens is let's say if we want to apply use the add age function in our in our code what we do actually we just give some name we give some data to it and get the result back right like uh, that's how it functions but here you, you are seeing that there are no braces here which is same you can see for the len also here like which we have given braces and given some data to it right this that's not happening here because the d uh, the apply will take care of it apply actually uses the add age function and uh, gives the series which the apply you know uh, which the 
apply is called upon right and gives all the data to the function one by one and results in a resultant series data structure okay so uh, you, uh, if you uh, that's being said you know the and also one one other major thing one other major thing is actually the uh, uh, the series whatever we are taking has the index of 0 1 2 3 here right uh, and uh, the result after applying whatever the series which we get also should have the also will have the same index because that's that is the reason behind that is to have an easy application of adding adding this adding the resultant series to the data frame right because uh, let us say this age which we have uh, got as a result give let us give a column where call up uh, column of age changed right uh, if you want to keep a record of the previous ages also and uh, you can see that the earlier age is here and the age changed is added as a column to this data frame right that's that is being done only because the uh, series which we have resulted and the age column which we are applying the function having the same index right so that's what you know one of the major point you need to look after which i have said here that index of the resultant series is equal to the color series the color is the uh, this one and the resultant series is the result of the after applying the function right so now let us just uh, drop whatever the age changed column we have uh, you know added here right and now now let us uh, do if you see the you know do the lambda function here like if you see whatever the app uh, you know function which i applied is just a very you know small uh, function like you know it's a uh, just adding one to us to a variable that's what this function is doing we generally don't use such type such type such uh, such type of small functions in uh, pandas function to define explicitly a uh, different function in that situations we what we what we generally use are lambda functions right so instead of defining something explicitly because it's we can be achieved very easily lambda functions are basically anonymous functions like you don't need them to be defined explicitly like an add age function this this has no identity at all right it is just has some memory in the you know uh, in our uh, uh, memory in our uh, memory but uh, there is a memory allocated but there is no specific pointer to it there is a specific object to it it's an anonymous it's an anonymous function you can define a name to it if you want but here we don't want that because it's a very small application here it's taking each and every you know value of the age and that is an x and adds some adds the value to it the same way it does here right it takes each and every value and adds some value like i demonstrated in the animation that E, one one element after the other one by one they go through the function and results in the values right so that's how it's being applied over here and uh, you get the same result as the earlier you know 46 36 30 27 when we do the when we do when we apply the lambda function instead of the explicit function and uh, like that's uh, we are just comparing by seeing here but if you want to check it programmatically then you can do so that uh, in a lambda function style applying and a explicit explicit function applying style both of them resulting in the same value so you have we have seen the check here right so that's being said now let us apply numpy universal function as i said to you that you know there are two ways of applying functions to this series using the apply method right so uh, in in that there is a numpy universal function right so that's what we will be applying here numpy has you know uh, a great deal of uh, universal functions where you can rely on them and they are very fast also that the uh, calculations are you know c c language speed calculations it does right so we take the advantage of it by now just now we want to have a have an application let's say use case that 
whatever the data frame that we have here has a weight weight column right so that weight we wants to you know floor it floor it actually there is a uh, flooring flooring is an application to bring the uh, decimal pointed uh, uh, value to the nearest you know sorry floating point number to the nearest decimal point number okay uh, so if you see the here right so we are just coming coming down to the each and every you know this uh, floating point number to its decimal equivalent okay so that's how we get the 68 58 right so that's what we are applying a universal function here if you want if you can visualize it here uh, the major you know uh, difference between applying a universal function and a python function number universal function and python function is universal function in the universe when we are applying u funks what it does is actually takes whole whole of the series at once whole of the column at once and applies the numpy you know universal function and gives out the result at once like uh, but uh, as i said that you know in the python functions each and every value is value is being taken one by one right right so that can be i have made an animation for that purpose also for the u func you can see that here right so as i said that the major difference is the taking whole column at once right so it takes the weight column over here whatever we have in the data frame and takes all of the column at once and applies in apply four and gives the result right so that's what you know the major difference you can you know keep in mind that when you want to apply the whole series at once or one after the other depends upon your application means basically what what actually you can think of as when you have any of the uh, universal function available for for us uh, for you at your disposal then please use that instead of applying a, a explicit function yeah but when you want to achieve some uh, a bit complex functionality where numpy doesn't have the doesn't host some universal function we can use the python function for that purpose yeah as i we as i said to you at the starting at the starting that pand is uh, see, you know i say the apply method apply method is you know built on top of both series and data frame right as we have seen all applications of the series and now let us look after the data uh, apply as a data frame method here right so let's open its documentation and uh, you can see that here here also if when we are seeing the documentation the major things you should you, can, you should you can observe are it has two major arguments like like in the apply as a series method we have one major argument and here we have two major arguments and which are func and the axis actually right i will explain you them and uh, func is actually a function itself like in series we have we have uh, a first argument as three different you know uh, three different types of arguments we have possible different arguments uh, sorry two different possible different arguments like uh, a python function can be applied and also a uh, number universal function can be also can also be applied here also it's the same but it's not specifically mentioned here in this documentation actually It means any function can be applied which means okay so and uh, we go to it see uh, pandas apply function you know uh, uh, think of uh, uh, think of you know axis as i will explain you the axis at first so that you will understand clearly axis as you know axis equals to 0 axis equals to 0 is actually applying down the rows what are the function which we have we want to apply on the data frame on each and every column down the rows when it's axis 0 and when it's axis 1 let's say we want to apply along the rows along the rows one after the other means uh, Uh, along the column along the columns sorry along the columns in the horizontal direction if you want to apply the function right we will we will demonstrate that 
uh, in the when we are doing this uh, you know code see let's uh, let us think of a use case here let us think of a use case here that you know uh, as it's a data frame method first of all uh, and uh, applying some numerical function we want to apply some numerical function on it so we will take the numerical columns of the data frame at first and form a subset of the data set right uh, which let's say the first data frame what we have are it is a see it these two are actually a strings right so for that purpose we would like to take the only numerical columns and also think that the user is giving a new data to us which is actually height of the persons the uh, the people which are having in our data frame they would like to give out their give us about their height heights also their information right so uh, in centimeters like edwards height is 178 centimeters and so on like that right so let us take that information and you can see that that's being added as a column here and we want to take the subset which i am naming as a data data frame right so and also making the name index name column as an index like what we have is a range index the range of like 0 1 2 3 are the you know um, the the numerical index what do we have right but we would like to make the name column as an index here right so see that you can observe that here we made the name as an index so that we can easily identify what person which it, or what person we are you know looking after right so that's just taking the subset of the data where we have just a you know, numerical values in it numerical columns in it so that's how this is resulted so we would like to apply some you know what you call a met uh, a function you know on the data frame which is actually getting the means of the you know columns whatever we have right you can see that this column whole column age column we would like to get the average ages of the all all the people we have in our you know uh, data set all the weights of the people you know average weight of all the weights average height of all the heights we would like to get that that is our use case here let us say so that's how you know axis zero function here which i explained you that it functions along the rows right means the function which we have taken takes a complete series which is all the rows are you know taken into it taken into account and applied the function whatever we have right that's how this axis zero functions here okay so i would like to say one more thing here that you know uh, uh, there are so many built-in routines built-in you know uh, direct aggregation functions on top of the data frame in the in a pandas which uh, in which mean is one of it one of it okay so if we just uh, take result take the result here it is also resulting the same as applying something some function explicitly which we use up by using the apply uh, method on top of the data frame and applying a mean right so that's already a aggregation function on top of you know pan uh, pandas data frame that's being defined by the developers to us right so such common aggregation functions you need you can look after them in the documentation for that purpose you don't need to specifically apply you know explicitly you explicitly using the different uh, function but take advantage of the ag uh, built-in aggregation functions but just i demonstrated how we can apply explicitly also right uh, so which means I am what I'm saying is to use the apply method on top of data frame when we have some complex functionality instead of built-in aggregation functions like that okay so that we will see in this section the second section that applying functions to every row instead of columns we have we applied the function to each and every column right which resulted in each and every columns means right so we would like to apply along you know along the columns which is on the row okay to every row we would like to apply so for that purpose let us take a use case where where we would like to 
know whether a person is fit or a thin per he is uh, thin or it means that he or she are he is thin or whether the person is obese these are the three categories we would like to know whether which category a person falls into based upon their height and weights okay and their you know gender so uh, the first data frame we have this and the data data frame we would like to use it here instead of the data subset because uh, uh, according to the standards of the uh, international standards of uh, uh, this uh, categorization of uh, height and uh, weight ranges the ideal height and weight ranges for the fit cat for the for the people to categorize as a person is fit are these actually we i have just taken only uh, you know the respective heights whatever we have in our data set is from the standards table okay so like we have 178 160 173 168 right so males categorization of being fit is different and the females categorization is different right so we are taking the males categorization here and uh, for a 178 centimeters height person he is may he is uh, uh, mentioned as fit when the person is having weight in between 67.5 kilograms to 83 kilograms right so if the person is uh, you know uh, below this weight when uh, I mean a person who is of 178 centimeters is below this weight 67.5 weight, uh, kilograms then the person is categorized as thin and if the person is above this 83 kilograms then the person is categorized obese okay in our application let us uh, uh, you know achieve that using applying some by applying some function okay so that's how we define the uh, other height and weight ranges also and for female we have natalie as a female which is a sex you know the gender we have as a f right so for the 160 height for the female from the table of the standards we have this weight range ideal weight range okay so let's just run them and uh, now take now this is one simple one complex functionality which we are which we are achieving based upon their gender whether the gender is male or female and uh, their weights and height ranges i'm using them as i said it should be in between these ranges to define this function and uh, the function is named as fitness check okay so uh, this is a function you can you know observe here where i have defined here and uh, applying that fitness check function with axis equals to one which is actually along the columns means along the columns me which means this is the, along the columns because these are the columns which is on every row we would like to apply okay like uh, as a as i demonstrated in animation to you that in series each and every value of the series are passed through the function uh, you know each and every value of the series is passed through the function and resulted in a what you call their uh, lengths like this this edward is passed through the and this sorry this age is passed you know uh, 45 is passed to the add age function and 46 is resulted like that in the data frame what actually happens is each and every column is passed at once instead of each and every value in series each and every column is passed at once which we uh, if it's axis 0 and each and every row is passed at once if it's axis 1 so in axis 1 we take we get we pass all of the row at once which is taken as a array sequence as an input to this fitness check and accesses access this elements in that you know series using their indexes and uh, we get the result here apply by applying the function that uh, as we have uh, names as the made the names as a you know index we can see that the edward is fit and natalie is obese and chris is fit and priyatam is thin here 
like if we if we just do some cross check here let's say the cross check is like as i said that you know edward edwards height is 178 cm and for 178 cm the weight range is 67.5 to 83 kg right and real edwards edwards weight is uh, sorry weight is 68.4 which is above 67.5 and below 83 it in the, within this range so that is fine this function uses them and results in results as a fit you know categorization for the edward in and equivalently for other persons also that uh, it categorized as categorized the natalie as obese and uh, chris as fit and priyatam as thin right so that's how we would apply some complex functionality you know on the data frame by using the apply method on top of it right that we can that if you have any other specific use cases and specific applications when you are applying for the columns also we would like to apply some uh, you know what you call complex functionality rather than the simple you know functionality which i mentioned here but just mentioned as a demonstration how it works over to you, here to you right so um, yeah that's all for this time friends and uh, we'll come up with another function in pandas in the next video yeah, thank you.